Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of uh, Pillars of Eternity, The White Marsh. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we try to cut through this mass of vegetation here. You deal a sturdy blow to the nearest vine and get little result. This vine seems unnaturally resistant. No amount of hacking, smashing or cutting seems to have much effect. It would take far too long to cut away all of them. Far too long? I mean, what day? There's no hurry. We can spend days cutting away this thing. Hmm, I don't really want to cross the wall. Let's not cross the wall. How not about a that? problem. Well, if that's not a problem, let's not cross the wall. So let's go this way, because I think there's something to the north. So this is the staircase, right? It is, the master staircase. So if we go there... Oh, okay, there's sporlings over there. Let's kill these sporlings instead of going through the wall for right now. Because I have the feeling that... Uh, there's at least that, that it's not much of an option there and I kind of want to kind of want to see if mine. I can figure out if there's a way to uh, yeah, so we can come back here and either yeah we're good <clears throat> so I kind of want to figure out if there's a way to cut through that thing with something else May oh there's a trap somebody triggered a trap get back here okay don't get back here uh, what the who the hell triggered a trap what is Adapa Adapa's down so yeah okay so maybe it was Adapa this I don't think so because animals don't trigger traps Maybe it was them? Or was it me? I don't know. Well, there's some putty pudding over here. And at the time of this recording, I am looking forward to eating some pudding myself. But that's gonna be for later, because it's Christmas Eve for me. And for you, I think it's the day after Christmas or something. But uh, I hope you had a good one. I do, I do hope that you had a good one. Uh, whatever holiday you, um, you, you, you celebrate. So... Get now we're gonna kill. No, we killed all the puddings. puddings. Kill all the puddings. What the hell? Why? Why is there blood appearing over there? I don't really understand how that works, but you know, whatever. Just can't really question this thing's too much. So we got a bunch of crap. Nope, nope, nope. Let's come back. Let's come back. Let's come back. Cause I am not yet healed. Okay, good. Okay, let's see what I can do here about her. Heal her a little bit. Can heal her a little bit. There you go. Try to speed up the process. There we go. And since that's a free heal, there we go. And a save game as well. That's why it's it's frozen. No longer. Okay, so we have swamp spores here. If they are alone. Oh, bad. That's bad. She's dominated. Bad, 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 bad. Oh boy. Okay, let's take care of these guys. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. This, I need I need spells against this. Okay, so I'm gonna send you into melee as well, and you can go into melee as well. Let's see how long it's gonna last. Well, seven seconds. Come on, is he dominated? No, apparently he wasn't dominated. It seems to have been confused. Oh, kill that thing! I thought it was dead. Um, okay, so now Adder is dominated. Okay, yeah, now we're all good. We're all good. Let's kill that one. No, we're not all good. Durance is now dumb. No, that's Get bad. That's uh, bad. Don't attack Durance. He's got enough troubles as it is. Kind of special, special little child. What the hell are you doing with me with range? Go ahead and melee that guy. Oh, they're attacking Giladel. Damn you guys! Don't attack Adapa. Actually, attack Adapa. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Mm, let's see what I can do here. Let's see what I can do here. Can you can you knock her down? Can you knock her down? Dumbass, what the hell was he doing right there? Do you see that? There you go. There you go. Adapa. We're good. We're good, right? We are. Okay, good. The end of combat we dealt with. Ooh. Uh, ooh, man, this is interesting. L certainly looks way cooler than the one that, it, that Aleth has at the moment. And, but alas, I don't think... Maybe that wand is gonna allow me... Oh, no, there's a passage here. I was gonna say, maybe that wand, or that wand was gonna allow me to cut through oh, the man, vines. Help. Maybe there's more. Maybe there's more. Let's put that over there. You got a stiletto. You don't really use stilettos, do you? You do. It's ex exceptional stiletto, and that's a fine one. Don't care for that one, then. Let me see what this one is. Um, so, it does more damage. It does... It does... Excuse me. Um, hiccup right there. Uh, it doesn't... Inflicts minus 5 accuracy. It has increased accuracy. Which, of course, increases critical chance and all of that. Uh, on critical... Hmm. Jolting touch on critical hit. Once per encounter... Oh, I don't... I don't care for that. Do I care for that? I mean, the increased... Plus 25 freeze damage. Nah, this one does more damage, I suppose. I could look... Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. So, the accuracy right now is 60, and it's dealing 1 to 17. 
And this one is 12 to 19, and it's better. It's just all around better, okay? Say goodbye to whatever this is. Elon when Ain, whatever, it's let's uh, Elvish or something. Um, hmm. The luminous mushrooms give off a healthy, a uh, health, heavy earthy sm scent or whatever. So we got friendly, oh, man, pigras. Man, pigras, those are not gonna be friendly. There's no way they're gonna be friendly. They, they don't talk to us. So what I wanna do, maybe this is a bad idea. I'm on it. Maybe this is a bad idea. So let's save the game. And let's send Ad up ahead, see if they kind of talk to me and say, Hey, you are trespassing. Oh, there's a lot of them. Hi. And what? Looks like we... Oh, so this... So going through the vines is a way to bypass this fight. There's a dead guy over there. Hmm. Forest lurker is not really the big deal. There's a couple. Yeah, okay. So it should be okay. It should be fine as a battle. Oh, there's a trap there. Isn't that lovely? Get out of there. What? Whoa. That was... I never, I've never seen that screen. I have never died. I've never seen... Not on my own. Not with you guys. Never seen that screen. I have died. I was, I was dead. So I can detect that trap for some reason. Which is really bad. Really bad. Maybe I can, actually. Let's see. Yeah, I can't do it. What kind of trap is that? It is a poisonous cloud trap. Okay. Mm, so let's bring you over there. Let's send Ether up ahead. See if he can aggro these guys. Yeah, I was gonna... I was gonna... I was hoping for... Not hoping for, but I was expecting like a dialogue or something. But nope, these guys don't... Oh, don't go! Damn you, damn you, damn you, damn you. Okay, so he's dominated for five seconds. Adapa is kind of staying there. Let's hope that... Okay, that's gonna be another domination coming our way. I'm lo I stopped looking at the screen for a little bit. You need to be melee. Please be melee. Why are you back here? Oh, wait a minute. That's not you. Why are you... God damn you. Why are you guys ranged? Did I bring you up to ranged before? Okay, it's not the best place to do this. So what I'm gonna do is kill that guy and get the hell out of there because I think it's the, just the spores. The men Pigra don't really do the men Pigra do the, this yeah this abilities they oh they summon nice that's nice hi okay get away from there I'm just guiding them and now we have a little bit more room to fight these guys and then we'll worry about the, uh, the spore plants or whatever they are so okay so that lurker is staying behind which is nice this guy's a big guy. Big guy, and it's immune to piercing, as expected, really, but... Oh, don't go away! Come on, the party's not over! The party's not over, it's just stop getting... Oh, nice. Oh, bad. Uh, I don't like that spell. Let's see what I can do about that, just in case I'm... There you go. Now he's alone. Oh. Yeah, he's alone, he's going down. He's got deep wounds, and he's got persistent as well, but it's fine. Come on, kill him. There we go. 10 damage, yeah, that thing does damage, like, yeah. Are we good? I think we are. Okay, what, ooh! Ring of Thorns, plus Dexterity, plus Reflex, and Preservation? What the hell's that? I have to look at it later. But for right now, oh no, that's not, let's not go there. For right now, we have the, um, yeah, let's fix everybody up. Let's hope, wait for Adapa to be ready. Let me just do this. Moe, there you go. Ah, She's good to go. Let's send everyone up then. Well, everyone is gonna, it's gonna be an interesting fight. Let me save the game. Because they, how many were there? There was a big one as well. I didn't see, but there was a big one. So, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, there's a big one. What is it? A giant tank spore. Okay. Mm, let's see, yeah, because they are dominating us, this is that, and now everybody's dominated. Oh, Eloth. Eloth! Okay, you going to mainly damn you, stupid <laughs> asshole. Okay, we're good, we're good. And you going to melee. Yeah, that's the reason why you're up here. Okay, is, is he confused? No, he's, no, he is confused or something. I think... No, he is dominated. Why the hell? How the hell is he attack? Oh, he's attacking us. He's attacking Durance. Speaking of Durance, get the hell out of there, Durance. Get... Nope. Okay, that's... Your don't attack Durance! Don't attack Durance! Attack that guy! What are you okay. doing, man? I hate your pathfinding abilities! Or lack thereof. Oh, Durance is down. Durance is down. So this means that we don't have healers on the party. 
So we need to make do with the health that we have right now. Kill it. Right. No, don't go there. There might be traps. Endurance, come back to life. Okay. Are you on range? No, you're not. So go with that. What is it? Shut up. I hate the dominate. I hate the dominate. It's so bad. Can do. It changes everything. I hate it. Let's see what do we have here. Some stuff. And let's send Giladel up to look for traps. Let's save the game. Okay. There's something here. What is that? There's a trap there. Hmm. Nice armor. I think it might be good. It probably isn't. Because I have very nice armor from the White March. We, ha we have... Oh, a rapier. I don't think anybody uses that. But still, I will take it. I will take that. Let's see if there's traps on this side. Nope, don't think so. And this is another stair leading down. So, of course, this was never going to be the last level of the Endless Paths of Odnua. So, I have something here to do. Let's see what we have here. Uh, no, that's not what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. So, artifici Artificer's Hall construction completed. So, let's look at our construction queue. We got some library. We got some chapel that gives uh, Persage's scrolls from a priest and bonus to resolve upon resting. Nope, don't want the resolve and don't want scrolls. Over here, we got upgrading the lodge will grant a bonus to survive the skill. Nah, it's not interesting. Over here, upgrading will grant both a construction. Constitution and athletics bonus bonus when resting and then over here the home is only comfortable as is its hearth Yeah, restoring yours may return a semblance to order of your keep. Let's do that. Why didn't I do that before? This is the lower level. I think maybe of uh, bright hollow Maybe not I'm not sure but anyway, let's save the game. and Let's get down into whatever level is next That's 11 or that's 12 hmm. Loading screen will not tell me the loading screen is silent. Potions, scrolls, and food items can be created by clicking on the crafting button. It's a thing that I don't usually do. Maybe I should. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. So, we have scrolls, we have potions. Let's look at... Sp oh, nice. Major recovery. Oh, we can brew this? Man. Okay, so let's... Uh, major, major endurance. This one... Minus four duration of active hostile effects for 34 seconds. Hmm. This one is what I really want. So how do I craft a bunch? Like, 12 should be good. Are we good? Where? Oh! Oh, I put them in my stash. Oh, I, sh I have a bunch of those. I have a bunch of those. Wait a minute, item type. Where are they? Item type. Okay, there it is. I have a bunch of those. So, oh, they don't stack as, as, as I was expecting them to. It's fine. How do I... Oh, there it is. You can double-click them and... Uh, yeah, this, these are crap. I will keep that one over there. I will put this over here. So we need... Hmm. Okay, if I put this one over here and I put this one over here, we have six. Uh, that's two, please. That's two, please, here. That's uh, another one over there. I just... I, my math is weak right now. Right now. As if, as if it's always strong. Yeah, there it is. So we got three per, per person. That's good. Per character. So we got three. Yeah, I don't usually use this, but I st should start. Especially since we are definitely going up against... Uh, not right now, but before we were going definitely up against uh, people who were way higher level than we were. So that's the thing that needs to be taken into consideration. Let's bring that one over there. And you guys... Oh, we still have that, or that around. We don't need that anymore. We're good. We're good. So, where are we right now? Level 12. Whoa. We're deep in this mother effer. Let's save the game. Oh. Okay, we got something over there. What is that? Is that Adra? Looks like Adra thing. Oh! Vithrax Sentry. Okay, we... I remember seeing Vithrax. I don't really... Remember where, though? Was it here? I think, yeah, it was level 10. Oh! A group of rubbed figures blocks the passage. Their heads bear a fearsome resemblance to those of the spiders that infest these caverns. Oh, yeah, it's the Vithrax. Their mandibles clacking in small, constant movements in the dim light of the caverns. Their round, black eyes gleam like gems. They look up as you approach. You feel a peculiar, itchy, sens itching, itchy sensation in your head, as if someone were running thin fingers through your thoughts. 
A muted sense of distress fills your mind, followed by a far louder screech of alarm from one of the robbed figures. As one, the creatures turn towards you and attack. So I know that. I know these are Vthrax. Have we found them in the White March or what? Okay, so they are also dominating us, which is really not okay. They are stunned, which... I would be as well if I found these things. These things are hideous. They float, and they are they have spider heads, and they have, they have robes. And of course, you're never gonna trust anybody in a robe, because either they, they've just been off bed or off the bathroom, or they, they don't dare to to reach to bother with those shenanigans. So you get their brains, and what is this? Tell me what that is. Fat squirming larvae bob in this green liquid. Hmm. Can we eat them? Can we eat the larvae? And if you think that's disgusting, that's because you probably don't have larvae in your cuisine. Because a lot of people actually, I think it's more than half the world eats insects regularly. No, it's no, it's not more than half. It's like, but at least almost two billion people eat, eat uh, insects regularly, um, because they are actually quite nutritious and uh, not disgusting at all. Uh, the, the, I don't think I've ever. I mean, it's disgusting if you think it's disgusting. That's not what I mean. What I mean is, uh, they, they, this, it's just a matter of um, getting used to eating them because larvae, especially, they, they, they don't have bones. They don't have uh, like flakes of skin or whatever. It's just, just meat. Just meat. And they are very nutritious. And if you like the sound, the, the, if you like the taste, then they're yummy. And if you like the texture, because I, I, I hear that they, they, uh, larvae. The, there are different types of larvae that you can eat, but. I think I hear that they like um, Jello, but I might be wrong on that one. Uh, I, I know a guy that, that ate. He went to Morocco and he ate uh, some some insects there. They in Morocco they eat. Um, uh, oh well, I I don't know. I've never been to Morocco, but I think they eat uh, like grasshoppers and other run. stuff as well. Grasshoppers, of course, are also very nutritious. I'm not sure if it's normal grasshoppers, maybe they're farm fed. They're probably farm fed because you're not gonna, <laughs> never gonna catch enough gra grasshoppers to feed the people. Feed the people! Yeah. Is it grasshoppers though? It, oh no, 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 it's not grasshoppers. It's uh, crickets. Yes, crickets. Grasshoppers, uh, yeah, crickets. Crickets are very fat and very, very slow as well. And uh, I, I remember when I was a kid I, I catching crickets, but I not for, for eating. Just to have them in a cage, and because that's apparently a thing that people do. They catch crickets and put them in a cage, and they cricket all along, all day long. Maybe not though, because some sometimes they don't do that. I'm not sure if they are sad or whatever. But I'm not sure. An insect is able to feel sadness, because of course that requires higher level intellectual capabilities, or at least some some sort of chemical reaction that that uh, promotes the feeling of sadness. And crickets, they are not very well, they're not very developed kid creatures. Not, nothing against them, I just, I mean, fine, whatever, crickets. But, uh, you know, just biologically speaking, they are not the brightest, the brightest bug in the, in the, in the uh, Animalia rain. Is it a rain, Animalia? Animalia rain? I think it is. But again, I'm not a biologist. I'm not a biologist. I'm just a guy that plays some video games, video games, and I have fun. I have fun playing them, and I'm having fun right now because. Uh, ooh, wait, wait a minute. I don't. I want. I don't want to go right into there because you never know what might be waiting behind these two. Oh yeah, there's this one. Oh, there's a lot of them actually. Oh wait, yeah. I'm having quite quite a lot of fun with this. Uh, oh jeez. Uh, quite a lot of fun with the endless paths right now because it's easy. Yeah, it's not. It's not a cakewalk. Cakewalk? Is that that word? It's not a piece of cake. Yeah, not a piece of cake. Uh, but um, yeah, we, we do need to pay attention to some stuff. And but most of all, it's not not really frustrating or anything. And it's definitely doable. I mean, we're not really taking care of much. Basically, what what it boils down to, you just need to be careful about your health. That's pretty much it. That's all that these battles entail, and if you want to counter some spell crafters, you call on Aloth, and he'll, he'll he'll make things for you. Cast some spells. Ad Adapa died. Damn you, Adapa! All is dying. Oh, I don't know why. Why'd you send me to the front lines? She's the first one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I play the game. Let me. Uh, you didn't you didn't cast oh. binding hand, did you? Binding wounding wound binding. Yeah, we're good. 
We are good. So he's gonna heal for a little bit. And is that it? No, it's that is it. That is it. Okay, so save the game. Let us keep moving. Spiders. Oh. Spider nests. Let's see what do we have here? A crappy armor and a turquoise, I suppose. And we got some major endurance something over there and two diamonds. These nests appear to have been abandoned and claimed by spiders. A few hold bones and remains. Really? I don't think spiders bring their prey to their nests. I think they keep it at the web. Hmm. Maybe they, they just shat the bones. Who knows? Who knows? Defecated it would be the word that I should have used. Okay, we have another spider over there. Let's... Yeah, they are not fond of our presence right here. It's fine. It's fine. Are these the crystal eaters? Yeah, they are the crystal eaters. Not the, um... Death because the master... Or the so, the so better after a nap. Thank you for the noise. The so-called master uh, upstairs, he said that it was the beetles. But they are not beetles. These are not beetles. These are spiders. Right? Yeah, they have eight legs, so they are not beetles. Beetles are... Oh, a pet widow maker, spiderling, and a vithrak. And they are friendly. This guy is always lagging behind this little guy. Hmm, I wonder why. Okay, uh, they are not gonna aggro against Adapa, I don't think. Saved game right there. So I'm just gonna use Adapa. Ooh, Chadek. Are you the master? Ooh, look at him. Yeah, he definitely looks like a spider to me. Yeah, they, they're all the same. This one is a little... They have they all have the same uh, mo model, but this one has different textures and colors. But yeah, this guy is special here. Pet Widowmaker Spiderling. And we got Pet Ivory Spinner. Can I talk to them or something? Maybe I can get them to... Nah, they, they're not like the cat in... Um, what was it? The catacombs of, uh, of the castle of um, the guy from Gilded Vale. Okay, so this is not going to go well. I can already tell right. you that. I'm gonna send Gorgon. No, actually, I shouldn't send Gorgon up ahead because you still have that wound binding thing. Let's do that. And hi! You feel a scratching sensation in your head, followed by a sudden high pitched ringing. Scattering images flash within your mind's eye. You see a mass of nests set against a cavern wall, stretching up into the darkness. A vast network of webs somewhere far beneath the surface. You see, too, the sentries you have recently slain, their bodies lying cr crumpled on the cavern floor. When the image fades, you see another of the spider-faced creatures standing before you. It raises its clawed hands. You feel another twinge inside your skull, and then words emerge within your mind, in a voice wholly alien to your thoughts. Orek, duvathi narat uvraeknat. The creature pauses, its fangs twitching. Kaladina fosta agrengidare. That's a question. Okay, uh, do you know any Aderian? The creature makes a strange shittering noise in your head. You hear a deer tongue. Many turns of wheels since last given thought. Animal is trespassing. Nests are here. Risk much is defending. Is defending. Protectors are dead. Animal is stated. Animal listens. No. The creature makes a clacking sound. Not fighting. Oh no, I'm not. I, I don't I don't mean I don't bear any heal wheel th towards you. You're the first guy. No, you're not. The trolls upstairs. They I was gonna say that they were the first to uh, not attack me and actually be okay with me being here. But yeah, the, the troll upstairs. They, they he was fine. Um. Yeah, I, I'll listen. There's no need for more fighting. Yes, animal is not needing to fight. The creature spreads its arms. Vithrak greets you. Welcome to nest. Animal is keeping peace. I am keeping peace. Am I? I've been keeping. I've been killing these things. Yeah. Tell me about the Vithrak. The Vithrak looks at you for a moment, then downs at itself back. What is Orlan animal? Vithrak people see what others do not. The light inside dull shell. It points at you. See great and burning light. Vithrak speaks without voices and in many hundreds of souls in great city. Stravek Narith is colony. A great journey. Animal would walk long time to reach it. So what's the colony like? Great light in darkness. The Vithrax voice seems somber, but all its for all its peculiar ethereally ethereal quality, many hearts lives to lives together, building. The Vithrak bows its head. Someday we will return. 
So what are you doing here? Vitrak searching, seeking knowledge for home, for colony, Stravek Narith. Far away, long time we have searched. We grew sick with memory of home. Made nests, made new home, and found what we seek. Master of this place, the Vitrak gestures at the walls around you, grew Adra, not cutting, breaking, growing, shaping. If Vithrak no could find secret, making great works, statue, machines, Vithrak could weave silk and adra both. Our nests become stronger, colony becomes stronger, all of us weaving great works. You feel a sudden melancholy with from the Vithrak. We are close, finding machines, crystals, but finding adra men too in place below. We have lost many, too many. It regards you with sudden interest. Orland animal is strong, defeated other animals, killed guards. Could help Vitrak? Sure, I mean, I just want to go home. Uh, what exactly are you looking for? Things for study, things for of Adra, all in the ruins below. Must see how Odd Nua makes Adra men. Adra shells, yes? Animal does not need to kill Adra men, just needs shells. Also needing part for a machine. Part like a heart of the machine. Adra in shining metal. The Vithrax thinks for a moment. Last piece of Adra. Not the Adra from walls. It's different. Pure. Hard to find. Charek is hoping there is some below. If Orlan animal brings this... If Orlan animal brings these things, Vithrak o oh animal great depth. Will help colony. Help us. Can go home. After so long waiting. For this great thing, Charek would reward the animal. Uh, sure, I'll go see what I can find. The Vithrak makes a peculiar clacking sound, and in your mind you feel a hazy gratitude. Then Sharek is grateful. Way to ruins lies east. Scouts have carved through stone, found stairs, found more than stairs. They guard us now from what is beneath. Animal must explain task, and Gastoric lets pass in peace. Sharek pauses. Gastoric is not kind. Animal is taking care. Okay, this guy's cool. I like this guy. Good thing that uh, I, I really like the fact that he proposed not to fight. Oh, my pen fell to the floor. That's fine. But he proposed not to fight. That is that is cool. I was ready for a fight right there. But nope. That is cool. That is really cool. How's it going, man? What lies beneath? Spiders do not go there. Young grow far from colony. Is this home now? Yeah, I kind of gave them a little bit of a Russian accent. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I found that the, their language, kind of, when I said, spoke their language, it, it looked a bit, a bit of, like Russian. No, it didn't look like Russian. It looked like, I, d I don't even remember what it looked like, but I gave it a Russian accent somehow. Maybe. I'm not sure. Some people say it sounds Spanish sometimes. I don't know. I have no idea. Who this guy? Who this guy? Krivi? Hi. This Vithrak studies you, uh, studies you alertly as you approach, its dark eyes gleaming, its voice in your mind is pleasantly melodic. So they are like, basically they speak with, um, with the, like, uh, telepathy? So they are like the Elithids in, in uh, Baldur's Gate, or in, uh, I guess, Dra Dungeons and Dragons. Maybe, maybe. A dear tongue is welcome. Krivi, happy to see. Many new things here. Many crystals. So what are you doing? Vithrak raises a clawed finger to scratch lightly at one of the Adra formations growing along the wall. Is studying Ezerevak. Ezerevar. Adra. How growing, shaping, using. In the Stravek Narith. Adra not growing. Krivi will learn secret. Krivi also holding supplies. Is if he's helping. Is searching caves in south. Is taking their, her time. Is going alone too. Krivi's is not liking. So where is where did is it go? He said he's going south to search cave there. Took spiders to guard. Krivi worries a little, but cannot stop the search. He's helping colony. Okay, so can I... I'll try and look for Is it. Uh, so, I take it you like shiny objects? Yes, it's shining. Much light, many colors in veins of world. He's going down to heart, Krivi thinks. Who's Krivi? The Vithrak makes a low whistling sound. It's Krivi, it says brightly. <laughs> Do you know anything about the master below? Krivi knows many things, but not any master. Is asking Charek? Uh, probably. So, farewell, man. Fair? Fair. Fair. Well. Yes, farewell. Adir Tong. Yeah, I'm not sure that was Adir. That was more like English. But, you know, 
Yeah, fair and ver, the F and the V are basically the same sound for humans. Not for different languages, though. The Leaves of Essence, that's a grimoire. Let's look at... Ah! I forgot about that! Uh, good thing I saved. I forgot about that. Forgot about... Am I loading the game? No, I'm not. Am I... Ah, there it is. So I want to steal that, but I can't. I wish that I could. I wonder what that is all about. Well, I guess I'll never know. I'll end the episode here as well. We are a little bit over our allocated time, but that's going to be it. That was fun, at least for me. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And uh, I am Colonel RPG, and this has been Pillars of Eternity, The White March. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.